Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Paul McGuire, and I'm a sophomore food science major at UMass. And my project uh, for presentation right now is the effects of curcumin on inflammatory bowel disease. So inflammatory bowel disease refers to two chronic inflammatory diseases of the, of the gut, uh, Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Uh, to the right, you see ulcerative colitis is local to the colon, while Crohn's disease can occur in the colon or in the small intestine. Um, these diseases typically affect people ages 15 to 30, but um, as with any other chronic disease, they can affect older adults or younger children. Um, typically, they are treated with uh, anti-inflammatory drugs or immunosuppressive agents. Um, and when I say they're, it has relatively significant morbidity, I just mean relatively relative to other chronic diseases of the gut. Um, so as with any other chronic disease, uh, poor hygiene, poor diet, poor lifestyle, um, bad habits such as smoking, excessive alcohol consumption, excessive um, medication use, uh, that can all lead to higher risk factors to develop IBD. Um, so getting a sufficient amount of vitamin D for your um, immune system, eating whole foods, avoiding processed foods, getting moderate ex exercise, um, limiting smoking, limiting stress, those will all lead to um, better chances of not developing this chronic disease. Uh, so curcumin, the compound at hand, is the principal curcuminoid found in turmeric. Um, the curcuminoid is just the bioactive compound. Um, it makes up about 60 to 75% of turmeric. So turmeric um, is a spice popularly used um, in ancient Ayurvedic medicine, but nowadays it is also used as a spice um, along as with a nutraceutical or um, for its health effects. So its functions generally um, include antioxidant um, and anti-inflammatory um, effects. It's also immune regulatory, improves gut metabolism. It is neuro and cardiovascular protective. I've also seen it to be um, anti-diabetic, anti-carcinogenic, um, among other things. Um, there have been concerns about its bioavailability Turmeric by itself is not um, best if you want the most out of uh, curcumin. So many people take it um, as cur curcumin extract. Um, to the right, you see um, just turmeric on top, but on the bottom, um, those are standard processed nutraceuticals. Uh, those are just supplements, um, curcumin extract. Uh, but those also um, have concerns about their bioavailability. Um, so curcumin phytosome, it's just curcumin um, enhanced with phospholipids. Uh, this enhances tissue delivery and intestinal absorption and enhances the capacity for them to pass through um, lipid membranes. And then curcumin for IBD, I found two um, main uh, beneficial areas where curcumin can be used to pre prevent or to treat IBD. So in the gut microbiome, curcumin fosters in environments uh, within the gut where so-called bad bacteria um, cannot grow. Um, it inhibits bacterial growth and cell division of dangerous bacteria, and it um, provides an environment for good bacteria to flourish. Um, this bacteria as such, for example, um, is bacteria that favors the growth of short-chain fatty acids. Short-chain fatty acids are very important for the intestinal mucosal prote uh, protection, and it also um, inhibits intestinal inflammation. Um, both of these are very important for the health of the gut. Um, ulcers, leaky gut, or inflammation of the gut uh, will lead to chronic disease all across the body. And then second, um, immune response. NF-kappa uh, B and AP1 uh, nu nuclear factor kappa B and activated protein one um, are both inhibited by curcumin. Uh, they are protein complexes and pro-inflammatory pro cytokines um, often related to IBD when they are over-regulated or dysregulated. Obviously, immune response and inflammatory response is essential to our health, um, but when inflammation is over-regulated, that leads to chronic disease um, such as IBD, IBS, and other things across the body.
So um, strengthening the intestinal epithelium and the immune system are just some of the effects that curcumin has um, when supplemented into uh, one's diet with or without um, irritable inflammatory bowel disease. So my recommendations, um, I am no um, registered dietitian, I am no naturopathic doctor, but um, I believe in cu including turmeric along with many other whole food uh, nutraceuticals uh, will improve your overall health. Um, some may take it as tea, some may take it in serum form, some may take it in extract form. Uh, whatever is best for you, you should listen to your body. Um, and just improve, improving your overall diet and lifestyle. Uh, this includes mental and physical, taking time to take care of yourself, um, improve your diet, improve your physical activity status, um, and just limiting stress. All of those have huge um, influences on the health of your gut. Without a healthy gut, uh, you essentially will not be healthy at all. And here are my sources. And thank you for listening.